Hi, I am Kristen Ostrander. For those of you guys who are new here, I want to introduce myself. I am the host of the Amazon Files podcast and owner and founder of MommyIncome.com, where I use 18 years of e-commerce selling experience to help others start and grow businesses on Amazon. I'm here for you as a current seven-figure Amazon seller. I'm help, I want to help you get from here to there, whether you're a beginner or you've got an established brand you want to bring to Amazon. We've got the answers that you need. So let's get started. Okay, so here's today's question. Do I need to create a brand in order to sell on Amazon? Do I need to have a brand? The answer is no, but it's much easier if you do, and it's better for you, and here's why. So first of all, if you plan to sell bundles on Amazon, the answer is going to be eventually, yes, you want to create your own brand. But let's define brand based on what Amazon calls a brand versus brand in the rest of the world. Don't freak out when you hear the word brand. Oh my gosh, I have to create a brand. I didn't sign up for this. I've been doing retail arbitrage, but now I'm trying to be a little bit more legitimate and I want to do some more other things and I don't want to create a brand. I just want to sell stuff online. Well, the good news is you can create a brand fast and easy. You don't have to go through a ton of rigmarole, but it will actually benefit you if you create a brand. Now, if you are trying to create a household name brand. So let's talk about, you know, KitchenAid or Nike, Adidas, um, you know, big Apple, uh, Samsung, you know, big household name brands. There's a different mindset and different procedure that you want to use in order to do that. So if you're trying to create a household name, this will be a different discussion. But at the beginning of this, you can still use a lot of these tips to get to that place. But if you're just trying to create a brand to be able to sell exclusive things on Amazon, like bundles, y'all know I love wholesale bundles, right? If you want to create bundles on Amazon with multiple different branded products, or you're putting gift sets or kits or gift baskets together, things like that, you're going to want to create your own brand. Now, don't freak out. Again, this can be fast. This can be easy. This can be done. And I believe 10 days or less at the beginning. So to be able to be approved to sell some certain brands on Amazon. I'm not saying brand registry takes that long because we'll talk about that in just a second. But to create a brand, a bundle brand, this is what I call a bundle brand. So what does Amazon want as a brand? What are they looking for when you're saying, I would like to bring a new brand to the Amazon marketplace? Number one, they want custom packaging. In other words, your packaging needs to have your brand on it. Also means a brand seal, which is a logo in Amazon's mind. They want a logo from you. And also perhaps a trademark. You don't, a trademark is not necessary unless you're going to register the brand. And we can talk about that momentarily as well. So what you, they want to know is that you are a legitimate business. They want to know that you've done the work, spent the money, done the research to be able to get your a brand. Now brand is simple as it can be Kristen's favorite things is part of the brand. So that's something that you could use. You could also use, of course, my brand is Mommy Income. So this is something you're looking for. They're looking for a logo and custom packaging. When they say custom packaging, it means something that's actually printed on the product. This does not mean you can slap a sticker on a brown box and call it your custom packaging. That's nine out of 10 times that is rejected by Amazon. They want it permanently affixed. So you need a logo, you need a name, you need custom packaging, and then down the road, perhaps a trademark, and we'll get to that. So how can you do this fast and easy? Well, first of all, you need to watch this video right here. It will tell you how to create fast and easy logos and custom packaging in less than 10 days to get your brand listed on Amazon. So be sure to watch this video for fast and easy custom packaging. But what they want to know is that you are a legitimate brand and that you have all of these things. So in order to do that, you need to have your custom packaging. Why do they want this? You're, I hear you, I hear all the objections. I get emails and comments all the time. This says, well, I don't want to create a brand. I just want to sell stuff on Amazon. Well, there's good news and bad news to that. The bad news is if you want to just sell existing products on Amazon, that's great. Um, you can sell wholesale 
you can sell retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, but eventually you're going to run out of profit. You're going to run yourself out of a job when it comes to that or run yourself out of business because you are at some point going to need to establish yourself and set yourself apart from the competition. Because if you can find a great wholesale deal, guess what? Someone else out there can also do that. And with technology and scraper websites and all these different things, it's harder and harder to compete on a single level of wholesale. This is why I always sell wholesale bundles. Wholesale bundles is my business model that I love. It's putting wholesale items together. So I'm not creating um, brand new products and, and patents and all these different things and creating a brand new you know, brand for a garlic press. What I'm doing is create is using wholesale products that are already in existence, putting them into kits or bundles or sets or gift sets and selling those as a brand new product under my brand name that I've created. Your brand name, if you want to sell bundles on Amazon or you just want to set yourself apart from the competition, whether you create customized items or anything else, that brand is important. Now, if you're selling everything from, um, home goods all the way to baby products to grocery, you want to create a brand that's very generic, that's very generalized. So I always often use Kristen's favorite things as my store name, as my generic brand that I like to tell people about because it encompasses everything. If you sell under a store name that's ABC Co, then you can sell everything from baby blankets to auto parts and no one's going to care that you're ABC Co right? Um, and so that's something that as a bundle brand um, creator, don't overthink that. Create an acronym, create something. And you're going to want to get a logo. If you're not a designer, again, watch the video, fast and easy, customized packaging in order to do that because what you're going to need is some custom packs. You're going to need a logo. Amazon is now enforcing um, having a brand seal. If they ask you for a brand seal, that's because they want a logo. And so they don't just want a name that you have but now they want a logo to go along with it and so if you're not a logo designer you're not one of those then you need to have that created again watch that video to to find out more about how to create your custom packaging but you have to realize what your goals are if you intend to create a brand around specific items and you want to eventually be a household name within that niche or whatever then that's a whole different process to try to create a logo and a brand and commit to a trademark because you want to make sure no one else is going to copy off your amazing idea. So to, to have a trademark, that is where you brand register. If you want to register a brand with Amazon, which they're becoming more and more uh, required to register a brand, you're going to need a trademark. You can use Amazon's IP accelerator in order to get a faster brand approval to get a, get in line with a trademark. Um, but you want to do it with a lawyer um, mostly because doing it yourself can take time, energy, and then it can be rejected multiple times and it could take over a year to get approved for a trademark. If you use Amazon's IP Accelerator program, once you already have a logo and a brand established that you want to trademark, um, then you can use their program and you can get brand registry in up to a couple weeks. But you're still going to need that custom packaging, that logo and things like that um, under that. So the next question that people often ask is, well, what if I don't want a brand? What if I want to list bundles, sell bundles? Can I just use generic? Yes, you can. You can use generic, but here are a couple of the issues that you need to know. First of all, you need to remember that generic literally means generic. So if you think of the generic store brand of Target or Walmart or things like that, tar Target's, you know, generic brand is up and up. But guess what? That's actually a brand. That's not generic. It's not a name brand everybody knows, but it's also not generic. They have packaging. They have a specific logos that they use for up and up. So that's actually just a store brand. So it is a brand. So you can create, see how general that is that they're using up and up. Why? Because Target sells up and up brand toilet paper and they sell up and up coffee filters and they sell up and up uh, sheet sets. So think Amazon Basics, right? Amazon Basics is their brand name and they pretty much sell anything and everything under the sun under Amazon Basics. Same thing with up and up Target brand. This is the same idea you're trying to do is create yourself a generic brand that everything falls underneath so that even if you create, say, some sunglasses and you want to put a case with it and call it your, you know, ABC Co or Kristen's Favorite Things brand, 
then it's not actually generic anymore. You have a brand name, you can have some sort of generic logo that goes with it so that, um, you know, it protects you from other people jumping on your listings and things like that. So no recognizable brand means generic. In other words, if you're selling something that's actually generic, they paper clips, think bungee cords, think, think things that don't really have, you know, a glass vase that you see. I mean, unless it's made from Waterford Crystal, chances are the glass vase you're selling doesn't have some sort of brand name. It's just a clear glass vase that you're, you know, putting flowers in. So think generic like that means there's no packaging or there's not packaging that has a specific design logo or name. It's just like these generic things. So you can indeed sell a generic product with with you know creating a bundle but the only rule about that is then you cannot name any or other brands within that particular listing so if it's a generic item you can't then start naming brands inside of it just to get around the rules you need to be on the up and up <laughs> no pun intended there but you need to be able to be on the up and up about creating these these brands so my suggestion is to come up with don't be intimidated by this come up with your bundle brand or your specific brand to you and whether it's you know ABC Co Corporation or you know this uh, we have our mommy income or you have um, Kristen's favorite things or Jennifer's favorite things or Don's uh, workshop LLC I don't know what it is but make sure that it fits every category that you intend to sell in otherwise it's going to be awkward if you're trying to sell you know if, you, if, if it's um, baby babies are us I know that's a real brand right but like babies things you know all baby things or whatever and then you try to sell something that's not a baby thing it's going to feel awkward that you don't you have a brand disconnect so picking something generalized and then getting a logo made getting a logo made isn't hard again watch that video we talked about about getting your fast and easy custom packaging made for that the last thing that you can do to to not worry necessarily about specific branding which your results may vary right now because Amazon is deciding to enforce the custom packaging and logo thing even though it's not written in all of their policies they're enforcing that you can also get EAN numbers, which, um, you know, if you're talking about UPC numbers, GTIN numbers, things like that, um, EAN numbers is the European equivalent of a UPC code used in North America. So you can go to GS1 uk.org and get EAN numbers which are valid by Amazon. So if you register them with your business name and you you put the product in there and then get that EAN number, it will match up with the system and Amazon will allow it. Now you do not have to create an entire brand in order to get these EAN numbers, but why should you? You should because it protects you in the long term from somebody copying off your product. If you sell a bundle of items you got from different wholesalers, which is what we you know suggest doing in, in wholesale bundles system that we have is to put different things from different vendors together to create your custom bundle package and that's great but then what adds a layer of protection that your competition can't do is if you have it sent in a custom poly bag with your brand name on it then even if somebody wanted to jump on your listing, they couldn't because they don't have an exact representation of that because it comes in custom packaging, which means they're not allowed to list on that product because they don't have custom packaging. And now you're keeping off hijackers by using customized packaging without worrying about, you know, everyone tanking your prices and things like that. So it's an extra layer of protection. So I hope this helps you. It's talking about branding. If you want to know more about trademarking, brand registry, or or creating all these custom packagings, always visit mommyincome.com. You can also join our Facebook group, mommyincome.com slash join us with the code word YouTube, and you can get into the Facebook group and ask all the questions that you want. So thanks for tuning in. Again, subscribe to the YouTube channel for more answers like this. I'm going to be answering more of your individual questions week after week, so stay tuned.